All right, guys. Well, I got a package today. Package came from Ansel. And uh, let's get to the video. Today's sponsored video is brought to you by Ansel. They sent us out a automotive diagnostic tool and this thing is a powerhouse and we're gonna unbox it right over here in this cage that it came with and we'll go through what's included also test it on the vehicle and show you some of the software features and at the end I'll give you my personal opinion of the product what I think about it do I recommend it so keep watching all right the product comes in a very nice plastic briefcase over here as we open it up you have an owner's manual the actual tablet itself which we already removed the protective covering from it with a big display and this is pretty pretty heavy duty over here rubber cushioning around it and we'll get back to this in a second up on top you have your accessories as you open it up you have your power charging cable you have your VGA cables as well as uh, other uh, a direct charging cable and you have your Bluetooth device over here from your OB2 port all right I got everything laid out for you guys this is the main product this is the Bluetooth device you come it comes with a charger and that owner's manual like I mentioned before the power cord actually switches between a European style outlet and a USA style outlet this is your Bluetooth device that you connect to the vehicle and just that alone will power this up will we'll send information from here onto your tablet using Bluetooth if you don't want to use Bluetooth you have a USB that goes in here you can directly plug in that uh, you can directly plug that in into the USB port it also comes with a charging port a memory card port because you can save data and screenshots and videos onto this tablet HDMI port and a USB-C also for charging it has a power button on the back end you have a nice stand over here you can place it nicely and efficiently if you're using it for long periods of time and again you got a camera and the flash over here very well constructed for the most part heavy duty and uh, I like the rubber around it so just in case you were to drop it or anything like that it should last you for a long time now the beauty of this this is really good technology over here as you can see quad core processor battery uh, newest generation battery lasts up to eight hours newest Android system 8 inch display and that 32 gigabyte expandable onboard memory let's get into the options here let's go to the car I got a car and it's got problems so let's try to solve these problems big thank you to Anso for sponsoring today's video All right, I got my Bluetooth device hooked up and we're gonna power it up into, into our OBD2 port down here, down below. Once you plug that in, you can see that the car is getting power, the vehicle is registering and Bluetooth is flashing because it's working. Going around into the device right over here, scroll up like a tablet we got all our features right over here that noise you just heard that means our vehicle is linked right now so let's turn the key forward and let's talk a little bit about the features here let's talk about the most important features right now the diagnose and the hot function we're going to hit diagnose you got all sorts of make and models listed down below european american Asian, Chinese, Australian, so plenty of cars to choose from. This little button actually lets you auto detect the VIN number. Why do all the extra work if technology is here for you? 
so 2009 Hyundai Accent this is the correct vehicle and now to proceed we have to ch choose the area which we're gonna choose USA and we're gonna go on to the next step and what I want to do here we want to do a quick test quick test essentially tests all the circuits and all the the areas of the vehicle here so let's have it run its test and as this test is running I can hear stuff clicking I can hear stuff engaging or disengaging so we know it's doing some work all right and we have seven codes that came up two of those codes are from the engine control and five of those codes are TPMS tire pressure monitoring system ABS airbag key immobilizer transmission and ABS all check out so let's click on the engine control once and we're gonna figure out exactly what the problem is here we're gonna go on trouble codes read the D DTCs and we got two codes here P0455 and a P0457 which both indicate a leak in the EVAP emission system now this Hyundai accent here has had codes with emissions for a while that I couldn't figure out but hopefully this device here will let us run some tests on the EVAP system and auto test it and potentially help us solve them so you can also delete codes right here if you wanted to erase all the codes we're not going to erase them because we want to keep them you can also clear them over here and let's take a look at the tire pressure monitoring system codes that this is showing us and the trouble codes the sensor there's some sensor frequency failures that probably explains why our TPMS light is on now I would assume a lot of professional shops would be using this product based on how advanced it is and how much it costs there's a lot of active tests you can do and check specifically if things are working or if they are controlling I mean you got fuel pump relays check if the check engine light works you can check that let's let's take a look at that we're gonna test the check engine light and you can see it's a success so if you're going to buy a used car and there's no check engine light who knows the light might be off and there's just a bunch and a, an abundance of things you can check here ignition coils if they're working and whatnot there is also a evap leakage test with uh, instructions on how to test it this is something we're going to run on our vehicle here and try to diagnose what's going on with this EV evap system you can also take screenshots we just took a screenshot of it and it's saved you can also go into a camera here with audio and you can actually record everything that is being displayed on the Ansel device over here I'm gonna stop that video and it's actually gonna save in the database here going back home let's go back and diagnose and you see some of these things that I'm going through are not working so I'm not sure if it depends on what sensors the vehicle has and are they corresponding and, and associating themselves with this Ansel device if you go on the hot function button you do have other options such as ABS brake bleeding if you just recently replaced your ABS pump or your fluid you can bleed your brakes again if your vehicle allows these functions airbag setting as well over here one of the cool features here it has the uh, key programming feature so if you do have a vehicle with one set of keys and you want to buy an additional key with a chip inside you can actually program the extra key using this uh, key programmer here and it will link directly to the ignition system of the vehicle saving you a lot of money and a lot of time from going to those dealerships trying to um, program your keys so right now as you can see the tablet's pretty responsive you have plenty of options let me just run through some of the options here you have your bluetooth uh, you have your wi-fi you have your bluetooth you actually have a flash as you can see there's a flash here if you wanted to see more inside the engine or if you're trying to uh, 
take a picture of the problem that you're having here you can again save everything here go in out here you have some settings and you can have different windows open here it's pretty much like a tablet gallery music clock email you can uh, use your Wi-Fi that you have connected to your home device or phone and actually search the web over here too and look up information so plenty of uh, of uh, plenty of settings here that you can use it's almost it's pretty much essentially a diagnostic tablet again screenshots now we're gonna jump you here and you can see we're taking a picture wow it even has zoom you see that so we can take a picture there and that's the picture we just took we can Bluetooth it to ourselves send it to ourselves uh, send it to a mechanic if, if need be let's go back out here and I'm pretty sure you can take a video as well so aside from the diagnose button which I just showed and reviewed we have this hot function button and that takes you to a lot of features that you can program and, and uh, clear a lot of data for these things TPMS, D, DPF, SAS, gears, battery, automatic transmission, ABS bleeding again, APS headlights, just plenty of things, key immobilizers again, oil resets, um, seats, tires. I mean, you got, you got a lot of options here, but again, all this is gonna depend on what sensors your vehicle has if you're just driving a very basic car with minimal sensors half of these things won't be working just like in this hyundai most of these things that i click are not going to be working and i gotta select the vehicle again and actually my vehicle is not even in here because again probably doesn't have those options one thing i wish uh this device kind of did was combine the diagnose and the hot function together so it's it's just less clicking and as far as the diagnose it actually pulls up the VIN automatically and the vehicle right which is very appreciated just to save you time the the hot function actually everything you click for example like the oil reset I have to click on go through the menus just to find out that this option doesn't exist on my vehicle so that is a total buzz kill and it should automatically populate what is needed over here we have all the entire list of po codes as well every single po code is listed here if you're looking you for one your, it's going to be uh, here you can view your uh, reports here so the quick scan report we did earlier uh, we can we can check what those codes were so like let's say if you have a business and you're printing this out for a customer Right over there. You can have your information the vehicle and which codes are present with you can print it You can send it to somebody directly. So there's definitely a, a bunch of Things over here options and functions that are beyond my scope of practice and what I'm going to be using it for definitely this is something that more professional mechanics will use uh, potentially businesses someone that is highly advanced and trying to get the best work done um, it's much more convenient than the, all those small OBD2 scanners that I've used in the past because everything is displayed I don't have to scroll through a micro screen trying to figure it all out and you can going back here you can send them some feedback if there's some issues that you're having send them feedback they have technicians and engineers that are trying to make these apps better and fix more problems and on the settings you pretty much just got some general settings over here you can do the firmware update version update and change your languages all in all very simple again my only complaints are I wish uh, the hot functions only were listed directly correlating to the vehicle and what is able to be changed and functioned everything else should be eliminated so you don't waste time going through everything the diagnose function is really good again a very big pro auto finding the vin number here and you got plenty of options to choose from now one of the cool things here you can check your i am readiness so all your emission codes you can run a test and make sure whether or not your sensors are uh, showing 
over here we have a bunch of information here if everything is ready that's a good thing and then if we get no's they're not ready is not a good thing so catalyst monitoring or can't possibly is not working here and again we got some emission problems with this vehicle which we'll have to experiment there is freeze data that you can gather from the vehicle so pretty much live data as the car is running you can check uh, temperatures uh, rpms and, and sensor wavelengths and whatnot so over here you can see the short-term fuel trims long-term fuel trims coolant temperature sensor temperature and uh, intake manifold pressure engine rpm intake temperature so you got quite a bit of information over here if you're trying to diagnose the vehicle and this is very responsive while the car is running so there's no delays here in conclusion this is a powerhouse of a diagnostic tool that has many many features that professionals can use and also the local do-it-yourself guy definitely recommend this product um, it does have probably a learning curve to it but once you get through the menus a few times and can navigate smoothly it is very smooth and efficient check out Ansel's website they sell many automotive diagnostic tools from all sorts of price ranges from uh, beginner and entry level to the professional tools you need